Another thing people don't generally consider when they are thinking about owning a motorcycle. Insurance. You can call it auto insurance, more specifically motorcycle uh, vehicle insurance. Uh, you can get liability if, at least here in the state that I am in, uh, you can get liability if you are not currently financing a bike. If you are financing a vehicle, it requires full coverage through your insurance provider. I am financing this motorcycle. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough to walk in and hand out cash to buy a bike. So I do have full coverage. I would have full coverage even if I were not financing a bike. I have full coverage on all my vehicles. It's just what I do. Full coverage on this motorcycle every month is approximately. Now, keep in mind, I am a 26, almost 27 year old male living in a not very motorcycle dense area of the United States and full coverage for me every month is roughly $240-$250 every month. It is expensive. Now keep in mind this is a super sport. Insurance for sport bikes and super sports are more expensive. If you get a touring bike, if you get a cruiser, if you get a scooter, insurance will be much cheaper. Super sports are inherently faster more likely to be raced, more likely to be crashed, and more dangerous. So, insurance is higher. Again, monthly insurance, roughly $240 to $250. Let's talk about payments since this bike is being financed. Roughly every month on this bike, the payments started out at $280 a month, and I believe that was with a five-year financing at let's just call it 12% interest because I honestly I can't remember the number right now um, I will look it up and put the correct number on screen but my payments for this thing started out at roughly $280 a month now I overpay on everything I buy and make payments on so car bike house whatever I overpay on all of it so that my payments go down and I pay it off sooner less interest to deal with so every month I pay $300 flat on this bike. Um, after several months of paying that, the payments that I now, or the bills that I now get in, generally say, I believe it's down to about $220 is what they require each month now. However, I still pay the 300 and I will pay that 300 until the bike is paid off. That way it gets paid off sooner and yeah, uh, less interest to deal with. So I don't have to pay for it as long, woohoo. We, we could even throw in modifications. Not everybody modifies their motorcycle, so that's not necessarily a fair point to throw in. However, some people do. Again, not everybody gets full coverage. Some people get liability. So let's go over mods. Uh, rough cost of mods that I have currently put into this motorcycle is, I, I'd like to say somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000. Um, and that just has to mainly deal with the full exhaust and the ECU flash but again other small things so we have full exhaust ecu flash we have tail tidy which is technically free because i didn't actually put a tidy on there uh we have swing arm spools which function a to protect the swing arms in a crash as well as give me a place to lift the bike from we have front axle sliders as well you can see those here we have tank grips we have stunting clutch I have lowered the bike that again did not cost anything, at least for the front. We have lowering links in the rear which did cost. Those were only about 30 bucks however. Uh, so tank grips. Other than that I don't believe, oh and the windscreen. I did do the tinted windscreen for the front of the bike. Uh, so overall yes that is about it to the bike. With those somewhere between 1500 and 2000 probably give or take some. Let's do a rough calculation and i will put all of this up on the screen at this time and we can just kind of take a look uh so we have the bike itself maintenance insurance mods gas as well gas is a big thing my average cost of fuel i ride around most days so i tend to stay topped off so it generally costs me about eight dollars a day when I'm riding around town. Now that's just keeping the tank topped off. It'll be $4 here, $4 there, so on and so forth. If I were to fill up the entire tank, it would probably be $12 to 
just rough estimate uh, again i don't fill it up that often so i don't actually know so with the totals of all of those here is a monthly and a yearly breakdown because not everything will be done monthly we'll just assume for sake of argument that at least everything will be done once a year so you know tires oil change so on and so forth with that being said i appreciate you guys being here this has been the overall rough cost of owning a motorcycle and i will catch you guys in the next one see ya